I'm just going to tell you about the Colonial Countryside Project, which is a project with the National Trust and it's funded by the Arts Council and Heritage Lottery. So it's a child-led history and writing project which is focusing on, for now, 10 country houses owned by the National Trust. And the idea is to look at their colonial connections, so their connections to slave-produced sugar wealth and the Caribbean, and on the other side, the East India Company connections. So there are lots of Midlands properties involved, but other properties further afield, like Buckland Abbey, where Francis Drake was, was based, and he sailed with several Africans who had a big impact on his military strategy and diplomatic or non-diplomatic strategy. So um, what we're looking for is as the project goes forward we're working with a hundred children we've got various events lined up so we've got a children's conference on the 16th of November in Leicester and in a church near the university campus, University of Leicester and then we've also got uh, several things to do with writing, so we're commissioning 10 new pieces of creative writing in collaboration with People Tree Press, which is one of our major partners. And those writers each will focus on one of the participating National Trust properties. There are some absolutely fascinating stories, so for example Penryn Castle in Wales has a, a whole estate and a landscape which is funded by slave produced sugar wealth. So not just the castle or the rebuilt elements of that castle, but the roads, the railways, the port, the whole infrastructure, as Marion Gwynn, the historian who's been researching that property for 25 years, points out, it's a slavery landscape. And there are stories of black presence, of Victorian plant hunters, of all kinds of lost and illegitimate children of empire who've been brought back or who've been left behind and it's just a, a rich archive for for writers to to delve into so those writers at some point will be giving inaugural readings of their work in the national trust properties and they'll also be having their work published in an illustrated book produced by People Tree Press which will hopefully be sold in the properties themselves. Because of the scale of this project is so vast and its impact could be huge because the National Trust has five million members and counting and a lot of those people, aside from a small band of historians and local activists, do not know about this history, do not understand how intimately connected that country house world is to empire and we need people to work with the children we need educators with experience of producing materials for primary children about black british history who might be able to work with some of our schools say in Toxteth or Mossside which are participating and also people who can Contribute in, in any way as volunteers. Uh, if you've got ideas, if you want to join in, you're really, really welcome to do that. And I would love to hear from you because there's a wealth of experience out there. And the more of us get behind this, the bigger the impact it will have.